we're continuing on uh, prayer wall talking about wisdom and I believe that is the as I was saying I believe that is the whole image of, uh, of what Christ is trying to uh, exemplify to us it goes back to that dream he was giving them a reflection in his way of themselves He's giving that reflection back he was giving them a reflection of how God felt about what they were doing in his house and if th that's not the model that God wants them to follow just like if he went and did what he wanted to do in their Saginaw they don't want people to follow that so we must be mindful of uh, of of how we exemplify ourselves in our temperament try to keep our calm and recognize these identifiers of a fool the Bible says not to correct a prudent man and we talked about uh, the prudent man and the fool they're opposite if you're not being prudent then then you're possibly being a fool now what is the prudent man the prudent man is that which comes from prudence one who manages uh, wisely and resources resourcefully one who uses his wits okay one of knowledge one of skill so it would be difficult for a prudent man to receive correction because he's already correct in his own eyes his own estimation but a wise man is able to receive correction but a fool is not able to receive advice he's correct in his own eyes so we're going to continue in um, this walk through the Bible on this word fool is going to take us some time to get through it I want you to uh, study along with me uh, it's not all about what I'm saying I'm just putting it out there for you I'm no scholar necessarily on it it's what the Holy Spirit is giving me uh, to share and uh, I think it, it's worth uh, the uh, the critique of it I think it's worth the observation I think it's 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 worth the discussion uh, if you have any questions or comments you can send them to my email Felicia Pickett Johnson that's F-E-L-I-C-I-A P-I-C-K-E-T-T J-O-H-N-S-O-N at gmail.com and I will answer you back um, now I'm just not one to get into those type of social media uh, arguments per se I don't mind discussing with you but I really try to avoid the arguments because um, you know the Bible says let every man be convinced in his own mind and one who's going to argue and get all angry over you having a, uh, a different um, insight on on a matter is more than likely going to have the reactions of a fool and the word as we discussed previously has already told us that we are not to listen to a person too closely otherwise we'll hear them curse us and that we're not to argue with a fool okay so that scripture comes into play let every man be convinced in his own mind because we all have to do what as the words say work out your own soul salvation so I don't mind sharing the depths of my soul with you uh, as in terms of you know what it is God would have me to say to uplift you to encourage you uh, to bless you by saying something uh, nice uh, that's going to uplift your day and build your confidence uh, and and uh, I wish you well throughout the week and remember as you're going about uh, your day because the Bible um, this word does talk about the fool uh, always has nothing but opinions okay so they don't have any facts or supporting evidence to substantiate why they believe things to be a certain way 
and and again as I told you because I'm one I believe in the scripture but I also believe in the natural references that we have to support uh, the history of the Bible uh, this is what I use as uh, as my uh, support it's my evidence to uh, support my subjective uh, thoughts on this particular topic or any topic uh, but a fool is not going to give you anything except this is what I think this is what I believe and I know is right and that's it and you can't convince them otherwise well you have to let them be convinced in their own mind and that even comes to those of uh, of um, of authority on the world, you know they're going to be convinced in their own mind that it has to be uh, explained and uh, espoused on in a particular manner. You know it's got to be the scripture line on line on line on line, and you can't use any other references. You got all kinds of uh, crazy ideas and interpretations out there, and you just have to let people. Uh, be themselves and have their say and choose the interpretation as they choose because God gives us all a free will but you don't have to buy into it with an argument and getting all upset about it if, if you can't persuade them with what it is you have to say or already said then let them have their say and that's it it's over Okay, so God bless you. I hope that you got something out of this, that you were blessed from it. You'll be mindful not to listen to people too closely, otherwise you'll hear them curse you. And as this word tells us in the 34th verse here, that we are to ignore an insult. Uh, that comes to that hearing uh, again, because it creates a reaction in you that will do what? Create that burst of anger. And that's how you get people into these fights and these spats and, and all of that. We've got to get some logical understanding of simple, simple understanding on communication and where uh, certain, uh, not, not traditions, but certain behaviors uh, come from. Uh, certain responses, certain reactions. You just got to get plain and simple about it. So I think, hey, that's just my opinion on it. <laughs> but I hope the word that I've shared with you is enough to say that, yeah, I think uh, it's worthy of what you said we should do. So God bless you and have a great day.